the bridge of incidents. When we are consciously creating something, when we are manifesting something, there's always a bridge that brings us our manifestation. Well, we don't actually know what that bridge is going to be. And everybody gets obsessed with what is this bridge that's going to bring me my manifestation? I want you to kind of let go of that. And the reason I want you to let go of it is you get stuck in how your manifestation is going to show up. So I would rather you look at a bridge as everything that is bringing you closer to getting what you want. Let's get a little deeper into that. But first, this is Susie, your beautiful millionaire swan queen. Welcome back to the garden, my beautiful duckling. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my video. I thank you and love you forever. I am the best life coach with a 99.6% success rate in helping people get back together with the love of their life. It's not the only thing I do. So if you are interested in working with me one-on-one, joining my paid Facebook group, upscaling your money with Delivery Dawn, check out the links in the description below. My job as your coach is to get you to see what you're doing differently. And I prefer to tune into your happy meter and dial it all the way up so that you are happy and you get everything you desire. So if you look at everything as this is a bridge to bring me my manifestation, Neville Goddard says there's a bridge of incidents. And he says that bridge is the reason you get your manifestation. Well, it made me think because I've been working with some clients and a couple of them didn't understand my basic two techniques. As a result, there was a miscommunication, which we worked out. But my basic technique is simple. You tell the universe what you want over and over and over and over and over again. You don't send it to your specific person. You tell the universe. So Amanda with Create Your Futures taught me how to use my Jerry doll. My Jerry doll, I would tell my ex-husband, let me see my daughter, let me see my kids. Stop telling the kids bad things about me. I intend you to be nice to me. It wasn't working for me with that specific situation. It also did not work with me for my specific person. But when I would tell my Jerry doll, to help me find a job, to help me do something um, that I needed to get done. So I needed money for rent, I needed money for gas, for my car to go back and forth to work. Jerry would deliver that. So I created Dave. Dave is a beloved friend of mine who has passed away and I would send everything to Dave. So I got a doll by Ophelia, that was a minion. Turns out the character's name is actually Dave. So I would start telling Dave what to do. Dave, I need you to do this. Dave, I need you to do that. So Dave became my Amazon storefront. Amazon would deliver whatever I ordered. So I would tell Dave repeatedly, I want this, I want this, I need that, do this, do that. And I kept giving it to Dave. And then people said, oh, Susie, where is this any different? Well, I'm trying to change the story of Jared so that he is this beautiful, incredible Jason who loves me, respects me, and appreciates me. It was too much stress and too much of me checking, has he changed yet? Do I get to see my kids because of all the drama that was going on? And I kept looking and stressing myself out. But when I gave it to Dave, I would just remind Dave, Dave, did you deliver my package today? Like Amazon. I have three things coming from Amazon today. And here's what's funny. I ordered two sleep bonnets for my hair and they were supposed to be here according to the website. When I ordered them, delivery day was Tuesday. I ordered them and instead, the estimated delivery was Thursday. I'm like, wait a second. 
It said Tuesday. Why am I getting them Thursday? I, well, I don't care. It's just a sleep hats. Doesn't matter. My daughter ordered something and it's supposed to be here today. But she ordered it after I did. So Amazon's sending it one day early or one day late. This is the bridge, guys. Is it one day early or is it one day late? Her package is on time, but my package is either one day late or one day early. And this is where we get stuck. What is the actual? Because it said Tuesday and then Thursday. It doesn't matter because it's showing up. The bridge to get it Wednesday was Savannah ordered something and it's showing up today. There was nothing that Amazon was going to do to send it on Tuesday. So did I fail in my manifestation of getting it on Tuesday or did I succeed in getting it today because it said Thursday? That's how you have to look at manifestation. So when you are manifesting a specific person, you bump into them in a gas station. They turn around and walk away. They don't want to look at you. They turn and walk away. You're upset because they did this. But that bridge puts you in the same spot at the same time. It didn't mean that you were going to ride off into the sunset out of the gas station, go to Las Vegas, get married at the Elvis wedding chapel, and honeymoon at the Paris Hotel. Excuse me, I am so sorry. It is a bridge. It is an incident that happened that brought you closer to getting what you want. So let's step this out a little bit further. You are looking at the picture of your specific person and you are saying, why did you run away from me? Why did you do this to me? Why? You're asking them why they ran away. So you're taking that bump in the gas station looking at their picture, you're angry, you're venting, you're upset, you're afraid it's going to go to them, you're afraid it's not going to get you what you want because you're confused. So you look at their picture and you say, seeing you is great. Why do I bump into you more? And you give them a reason because we bumped into each other at the gas station. It's a true statement. I bumped into you at the gas station. So because I bumped into you at the gas station, I saw you, my manifestation is moving forward. I can't go down the rabbit hole of, why did you ignore me? Why did you run away from me? Because now you're sending them an open-ended question. And then you go on social media and you're typing it all over the place. You're using speech to text. You're telling your best friend and everybody who will listen that they ran away from you. As a result, you feel like you failed. Instead, you should have turned to the universe. Neville Goddard says, if a million people must move for you to get your desired goal, so you go to the end, there's a bridge of incidents, and then what needs to move out of your way will move out of your way. So the universe is those million people. That is the universe. Those are the million people that Neville was talking about. Well, I gave that task to Dave. I gave it to Minion Dave to bring me my manifestation. Now, Minion Dave could be anything. It could be a loved one in heaven. It could be the universe, which I call 7.9 billion people. So now I have 7.9 billion people working to bring me what I want. So the people that have to move out of the way you want to date with your specific person on Friday night. It is Wednesday. So you're saying, 
I intend you date me. I intend you take me out for a date on Friday night. I intend you to take me out for a date on Friday night. I intend you take me out for a date on Friday night. So you don't hear nothing today. You don't hear nothing on Thursday, Friday at seven o'clock. You get up, sup, wanna hang? And you're like, yes, I'm gonna go hang with them. Well, that's not a proper date, but you did get to go see them and hang with them. It's still not a proper date. And then you spend the weekend with them. Monday comes, you gotta go to work, they gotta go to work, and you don't hear anything for days. You think you got ghosted. See how these little things add up to get what you want, but you're missing it because you're focused on, he ran away, he ghosted me. Instead of, oh my gosh, I got to spend the weekend with the love of my life, how awesome was that? We had the most incredible weekend. We got together on Friday night, Saturday we went to the zoo, Sunday we did this. You know, it was a great weekend. It was like we went on an adventure, a mini honeymoon. It was amazing. Well, your specific person is hearing that you had an amazing weekend with them. So is the universe. 7.9 billion people. But your specific person is hearing, oh my God, I went, uh, I, I, I saw him and now he hasn't texted me. He hasn't texted me. He hasn't texted me. Oh my gosh. Jared hasn't texted me. Jared didn't text me. Jared didn't text me. He's ignoring me. He's ghosted me. How can he be Jared and turn into Jason if you are constantly saying he ghosted you? He did this. He did that. So now Jared's being pushed away because you are saying his name and you are not doing that bridge. You're not allowing that bridge to work. So now we come over here and we have Jason. And this is how I get Jason. So I'm on the phone with a client on a video call and she's like explaining this to her. So I go get some stuffed animals in my house and I'm not going to say which ones I got, but I'll go get a couple of my teddy bears like me. <clears throat> okay. This is what you do. So this is one I made for my youngest son, and this is one I made for my daughter, my youngest daughter, okay? So the blue one's Jared, the pink one's Jason. Okay, whoever's saying Susie loves pink because it's my favorite color, stop. Jared's the old story, all right? And you're telling Jared, Stop ghosting me, stop ghosting me, stop ghosting me, stop ghosting me. You're focused on ghosting. You're telling Jason the new story. Text me, text me, text me, text me, text me, text me, text me. This doesn't feel good to either one of these guys. It truly does not feel good. You are overwhelming them and you're not even telling them what to text you. So you're going, stop ghosting me, stop ghosting me. Oh my God, uh, he's, you're ghosting me again. Why? Why are you ghosting me again? What, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to change? Why are you with the third party? And you keep telling them this. And then you come over here and you, you do your things. Text me, text me, text me, text me, call me, call me. We go out on a date. We go out on a date. And texting you, what is he texting you? So now Jason texts you. Oh, I'm seeing somebody else. I wish you the best. You're such a nice person. I wish you the best. And you're really upset because this happens. But when you take this away, all right, and you totally take this away from whatever story you're creating about your specific person, all right, and this is what you do with your specific person. So you're looking at your specific person. And you're looking at their picture, you're talking to them. Why do you text me such loving romantic things? Because I said so. Why do you text me, 
uh, funny memes today because I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. Why do you text me that you love me? Because I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. This is true. I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. And I'm asking this person. So my bodyguard friend would do this. This is Jason. He's sitting there. And he'd be Jason. He'd be walking up to the girl. So I'm going to do it in Susie's terms. So I'm trying to get Jason to fall in love with me. So Jason's sitting here at a table. And I'm waiting on him. What would you like to drink, Jason? Oh, wow. Well, um, this is Susie. I'm going to be your waitress tonight. How are you? I'm great. What's your name? Jason. Well, Jason, what can I get you to drink? I'll take a Diet Dr. Pepper. So I go get his order and then I come back. Jason, why do you love me? Oh, it's because I brought you your Diet Dr. Pepper. See, I'm actually saying this to their faces, but you can say it to their picture because I brought you a Diet Dr. Pepper and you set the Diet Dr. Pepper down. But if I'm saying it to his picture, it'd be because I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. To his face, it's because I brought you one. To his picture, it's because I'm drinking one. So I'm giving them a silly, true answer in order to get them to shift so that I see the results. The thing is, he calls you, does a hookup, and then he ghosts you. You're focused on the ghosting, what he's doing bad. I'm only focusing on the good things. I'm not intending he does anything for me. I'm telling him what he does for me. But I'm putting it in a question and I'm giving him an answer. So I'm closing the loop where he has no reason why he doesn't do what I want. Manipulation 101 if you want to call it. But this gets to be way too much work, way too much work. And I can't find one of the other bears. So we're gonna have to use another bear. Since we use Jason, we're gonna turn Jared into the universe. So we're gonna give Jared Minion Dave's name. So this is Dave. Hey Dave, I wanna go out with Jared Friday night. Can you make it happen? See? A lot easier, less stress. Hey, Dave, I need money for the rent. Can you make it happen? Like, I need that rent money right now today, so make it happen. Dave, thank you for bringing me the rent money. Dave, thank you for delivering the rent money to my bank account right now today. Oh my gosh, I'm so blessed, Dave, because you, you put that rent money in my account today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I'm giving it to Dave, but now, Dave is my person I order from. When I use the word universe, this is 7.9 billion people. 7.9 billion people. So I'm saying I need the rent money. I want to date with my specific person this weekend. The universe now becomes all these people and that million people that move out of your way gets you what you desire. So, in order to go out on a date with your specific person on Friday night, the poker game has to be canceled. The weekend camping trip has to be canceled. The uh, going out of town has to be canceled. He has to be reminded of you. She has to be reminded of you. She has to cancel her Taco Tuesday that got rescheduled for Friday with her girlfriends. Work has got to have the, the computers go down at work so they can leave early. They have something that needs to be done. So let's use this analogy. You wanna spend all day Saturday with your specific person. Well, your specific person gets called into work on Saturday. All of the appointments have to be canceled. The computers may have to go down. The uh, electricity goes out at the building. Something has to happen so they don't go to work. If you are saying, we go out and spend all day together Saturday. I intend that we spend all day Saturday together. I intend that we spend all day together Saturday. No disrespect to Amanda. He now has to figure out 
how to get out of work. One person has to figure out how to get to out of work. But if I come over here and I say, Dave, universe, I'm going to spend all day Saturday with my specific person, make it happen. 7.9 billion people are on task, not just one. Again, I love Amanda. I wouldn't be where I am today without her teachings because she taught me to focus forward. But I'm stepping it up even more forward by giving this to the universe. And the only thing I do to my specific person is ask them questions and make them and give them the answer to the question, whether it is a picture or in person. Now I'm Gen X. I'm bold. I don't care. So I'm going to ask him straight to his face. I get Dwayne, the rock Johnson on a video chat. I'm going to be sitting there going, Dwayne, why are we best friends? Oh, because we're video chatting. Can I tell everybody on YouTube that we are best friends? Because I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. Dwayne, why do you let me tell everybody that you are my best friend? Because I said so. I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep throwing it into the conversations that we are having while video chatting with him. You really think I'd get my celebrity crush, Jason Momoa, on the phone in a video chat and I'm not going to ask him why he loves me? Yeah, y'all don't know me very well then because I'm going to be like, why do you love me? Why do you let me tell the whole world that we're dating? Why are you my boyfriend? And I'm going to keep giving him answers over and over and over again so he has no reason to think otherwise. So this explains why people say, Susie, you are Cupid, but you really manipulate the universe to get what you want. So I'm not teaching you to put this on your person. And if you're worried that you're upset and you're freaking out and your person's going to feel that negative energy, cover their ears. Put them out at the beach. He's sitting at the beach. He's enjoying the beautiful waves. You could put earplugs in his ears. You can tell the 7.9 billion people, oh, but he can't hear this. Like my specific person can't hear this rant. But if I give it to the 7.9 billion people, they're doing my work for me. That's how I don't do anything. Like I don't do anything to get my manifestations because I give it to the universe. So whatever has to happen, I don't control the how, I don't control the when, I don't control the where, I do not get stuck in anything. So when I bump into them, oh my gosh, the universe is delivering, this is a part of my bridge. You gotta let go of throwing everything at one person and watching the situation and then it's not changing. It's not changing. It's not changing. Like I bumped into him and it's not changing. I talked to him and he said, I don't ever want to be in a relationship with you again. I don't want this. I don't want that. You can have, do, or be anything you want. Changing you is looking at things in a different situation. So if I'm changing me and I'm looking at what I want, my affirmations, my affirmations, my ask formations, my questions, statements, and phrases are all going to the universe. It's all being put out there like I would order from Amazon. So 
Noah St. John's does affirmations and he doesn't tell you to answer them. David Allen does ask formations and he tells you to answer them. I have told you guys for over three years on my YouTube channel. Why am I happily married? Because my 400 pound friend taught me to answer questions, statements and phrases. My bodybuilder friend taught me to answer questions. This is way before Noah St. John or David Allen. Way before. When you think about what you are creating in your reality, you're expecting this situation to change. But in your 3D, it's not changing. So you're living in your 5D and you're trying to bring your 3D to your 5D. This is how you bring 5D down into 3D. You keep telling the end. You love me because I said so. You love me because I said so. You take me out on a date because I said so. I'm saying it and I'm saying it out loud. And the reason I'm saying it out loud is because those ears that need to hear and move actually physically move, guys. It's how I get absolutely everything I want. So I am on this video chat and I used an example. During the video chat, that thing happened. Literally happened while I was on the video chat. I affirmed it maybe a dozen times or more while I was explaining how to stop raining your negative energy on your specific person. So imagine your specific person is sitting on a beach and you're constantly whispering in their ear what you want them to do. How frustrating is it they're not doing it? Instead, call upon the universe. Because if a million people have to move, they need to know what you want so that they can move. That's why Neville said, go to your end. There's a bridge of incidents. If a million people have to move, but you're only telling one person what to do. You need help to get your stuff done. So you ordered something from Amazon because it's Amazon Prime Day. Amazon has to get it from wherever. So if it's not in the warehouse in your community, you're not gonna get it in two days. So in this case, you ordered something from Amazon. It had to come from China. It's gonna take a month to get to you. It's what it takes when it comes from China to the US. It takes about a month. So the person in China goes to the shelf, takes it off the shelf, brings it back to their station, puts it in the box, closes the box, puts the shipping label on it. Before that, the shipping label was created. The shipping label was created because they got the order in China, finally. So I ordered it online. It takes so many days. They get the shipping label created. Then they go get it off the shelf, put it in the box, put the shipping label on it. Now it's been created and it's sitting there and you're waiting for it to be shipped. So you check the tracking information. You check the tracking information. In this case, you're just telling them Make it happen. Do it. So Neville Goddard says, I command. I command the universe to move out of my way and deliver my specific person to me. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Stop making it so hard and stressing yourself out. Because when I was sitting with this client and we took it away from what this person was doing in 3D and we put it on the universe, all of her stress went away. All of it went away. And I want you guys to understand that you're stressing yourself out because you're expecting a result and you're doing the same thing over and over and over again.
How would it feel if I told you that you must book a coaching with me? You must book a coaching with me. You must book a coaching with me. You'd be like, oh my God, Susie, that's awful. But that's what you're doing to your specific person. That's what you're doing to your family members, your friends, your boss. When you decide how this is supposed to show up and it doesn't show up that way, you failed. But when you give it to the delivery person to bring to you, it doesn't matter how it shows up as long as you get your package. So do you want your package or do you want to be stressed? Try this for the next 30 days. Because I tell you guys, find a technique, try it for 30 days. Turn around and constantly give it to the universe. Yo, 7.9 billion people. I don't know all your name. So sorry. Don't mean to disrespect you. So I'm going to call you my beautiful ducklings. And I'm going to tell you my beautiful ducklings, thank you for delivering the love of my life. Thank you for delivering the love of my life. Thank you. Thank you for hooking me up with the love of my life. Thank you for my blissfully, happily ever after with the love of my life. Thank you for my incredibly romantic relationship with the love of my life. Oh, P.S. By the way, whoever says, Susie, why do you love pink? Because it's my favorite color. Make them stop saying that. Because purple is Susie's color. I love purple. Purple's amazing. Absolutely love it. But when I'm looking at pink hair, there's a problem. So I'm sending back things I don't like and telling them to stop saying this. So you don't want your specific person to ghost you. Stop telling the world that he's ghosting you. You want your specific person to do what you want. Start thanking the universe for them doing it. There's a nice way to do it and there's a mean way to do it. This is the nice way to do it. Tell their picture. Why do you love me? Because I said so. Why are you showing up for dates? Because I said so. If you don't believe that statement, say because Susie said it's possible. Because Susie does YouTube videos. Those are true statements. Because I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Have fun with this. Stop stressing yourself out and find a way to enjoy the process of manifesting. And don't just test this out on your specific person. Do this with your best friend. Get your best friend to text you some cute little phrase. Say it. Yo, Ash, why do you text me? Um, you're an angel. Because I said so. Except I don't give it to Ash. Universe, Ash is going to text me, you're an angel. Make it happen. Oh my gosh, the universe is going to make it happen that Ash is going to text me that I'm an angel. Now I'm not stressing Ash out with you're an angel, you're an angel, you're an angel, you're an angel. Because I'm just constantly telling the universe. So my people show up, they're happy, they think it was their own opinion, own idea, and they do what I want. So I keep telling the universe, you know, I didn't believe I could change a narcissist, but I did. Why is he being nice? I don't know, but he's being nice. How I deal with my ex anymore. I just keep giving it to the universe. And then the universe makes them nice. And then I thank the universe for delivering my order. Like I said, it's so much easier than being stuck in how it's going to show up and focusing on the 3D. Because now I get to live my life and enjoy it. That's how I get everything I want, enjoy my life, and just be in the general state of happiness. That's where my little bubble is. I don't stress myself out over anything. I just give it to the universe, give it to the universe, give it to the universe. And when it finally shows up, I thank the universe. And to keep whatever it is that I want, I keep telling the universe, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like Neville says, thank you, Father. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. 
going to get you a lot farther, a lot quicker, and you're not going to have to worry about whether or not it shows up in three days. Because when you do it my way, it has no choice but to show up. I love you guys. You have an absolutely positively amazing day. And as always, leave me a comment and let me know how I am drastically changing your life for the better. Thank you, Clicker, for working.